Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Erin's Book Club. I wasn't expecting to have another episode yet, but I got through a book pretty quick that I would like to review with you guys. The book I want to review today is The Black Stallion's Courage by Walter Farley. This is the copy I have currently, and <laughs> hello, Ishi. I'm not really happy with this cover. The, the other covers that I have... Um, just are a bit more interactive and a little less, less boring. I mean, the entire book is about trying to, again, spoilers, warning, <laughs> but the entire book is about racing to try to, to save the farm or the barn from a house fire. And instead of showing like the race, we've got, I think the black jumping over a gate while the barn burns and nowhere in the book does the black jump over a gate while the barn burns. He's already in a field far enough away. But anyway, so first and foremost, it's a really good book. And it's an interesting take on how a fictional horse would hold up against the greats like Cigar and, and that kind of thing. Um, but I guess because it was written when it was, there's one very glaring fact that kind of boiled my blood a little bit because when we're first introduced to the story one of the black's daughters black minx is um a filly that won the kentucky kentucky derby and now all of a sudden she doesn't really want to run she's being she's bored and that kind of thing and they they kind of run her in front of the grandstand and that wakes her up a little bit and he writes that she has the speed to carry on and to, to beat the, the Colts, but she just doesn't feel like it. Um, you know, like a real head case and then writes the story as though she's fallen in love, fallen in love with another, um, Colt that she was racing against. And the only reason she's not winning these races is because she doesn't want to leave this Colt side to the point where she is sent home before this big race that that all book you're being uh it's being built up that this big race is going to happen where we could have done the the black plus black minx plus these two excuse me two two champion race horses could go into this mood into this race and no she gets sent home because she has women issues and it really bothered me especially since at the end, that last final race, there's there's three spots and only these three champions run against each other. And the purse goes up, I guess, to the fourth spot. You could have put that filly in. And even if you didn't want a female uh, or a version of the lesser sex, that was said to the lesser sex, to win a race against the big strong men, you could have had her bring home the the fourth place, which would help bring money in to save this, this farm. Um, really... <laughs> really bothered me to the point where it took away from a lot of the story because I'm like, okay, so yeah, um, the black, you know, beats everything, carries the heaviest weight, does all this wonderful stuff. But now we don't know if Minx is, is going to actually be a, a big, um, winner because you made her right be, be written like a, a emotional female. And I know what the next thing's going to be is just this wintertime cult that she's fallen in love with. Um, and her are going to breed and she'll produce a colt and that colt will win everything because he's a colt and, and colts are the only ones that can win. It just, it really bothered me. And I know it's just a product of the time. They, these are not um, modern books, but there, there are fillies who can compete against the boys. Um, it, it's, it's frustrating um, it would have been better if, if they wrote it in such a way that Manx got injured and got sent home. But to say that she gave up her heart, her joy of racing for the opposite sex, like a silly female, nah, did not like that at all. And it, it sucks because, again, Walter Farley writes a very engaging, very entertaining story. Um, but I... The moment they sent her home and made her an emotional female, it was a hard time to follow because in the end, yes, okay, so the Black lost a couple of races, but he lost a couple of races because he either got boxed in or at one point Alex sacrificed the win to save his buddy. 
it wasn't the black didn't win on his own, like didn't lose on his own merits. So you kind of already know who's going to win the race, but I don't know. It took a lot of the fun out of the book, but again, other than that, I know it's a product of its time and, and I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't get that upset about it because again, I'm, I'm, I'm judging a book based on a time frame that I wasn't part of. It's just really very frustrating. <laughs> Anyway, though, a good read. I enjoyed it other than that. And uh, I will let you know when I have another book, another book read. Thanks, guys.